Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to be playing with the new Jacqueline Strawberry Feels palette. Look at that. I love the packaging. It looks so pretty. And then this is the inside of it. And then those are the shades. It, it's, it's beautiful to look at, y'all. It really is. It's so pretty. Um, it has 10 shades, and two of them are shimmers. The shimmers are Sugar Coated, which is right here, and Fresh Pit. I don't know, you guys. This is the second time we're going to be playing with it. So, let me get started and we can talk about it. So, the first shade I'm going to go into is Shortcake. And this is a really, really good, really good, um, like, uh, contour shade for me. If I was just going to, like, contour the eye, this is, like, a very, very good shade. I will say that. Like, if I needed a perfect shade, it is this shade. And I really do like it. It's very pretty. It works very well. It builds nicely. Like, it, it's a nice shade, this particular shade. And I had to play this palette twice because the first time I played with it, whether I posted the video or not, I'm not for sure yet, but the look turned out okay. And, and again, it was my, I do feel like it was my shade, like what I chose, but the look came out okay. It just didn't come out the way I thought it would, I guess is the best way to say it. Like, I really thought... It was going to be different. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the mattes are really nice. They are. And I haven't checked any other reviews on the palette to see if, you know, other people like it or don't like it or whatnot. And I, I love, you know, Jaclyn Hill's cosmetic line. I mean, I have... Today I'm wearing the... Sun, the Sunkissed and Bronze Moment palette, which looks like this. This is what I've got on my cheeks today for bronzer and blush. And then for highlighter, I used Ice, and it's one of my favorite highlighters. So, I mean, I do love a lot from her brand. I really do. And uh, for the lipstick, I used um, One and Only. So, I do like a lot from her brand, but I didn't get the first eyeshadow palette because it just looked like a neutral palette, to be honest with you. So, I really didn't get it. Let's go into the shade Lemonade. So, I didn't really get that palette. But, from what I heard, it was just like, it, it was a good... Uh, like a beginner friendly palette and with this one I would say it's the same it you know it, it is definitely beginner friendly they're buildable shadows you can work easily with them um, no problem you know not at all so I, what I had done was I started out this eye look over here doing it just like I'm doing it now I did change it up though as we go through it because it just didn't look right to me for some reason, but you'll see. And I'm also wondering if it's my brushes, like maybe I need to use different brushes, I don't know, but I use these brushes all the time. No, they're not my refer brushes because Honestly, I didn't want to stain them. Because I don't know if this would stain them or not, but I just didn't want to try, you know. Okay. 
Let's go back into shortcake. Oh, oh no. And again, you'll see where I have to mix it up a little bit because like it kind of just wasn't working for me. So we're going to take that lemonade shade and I'm going to run it right along the lower lash line. And the shadows pick up nicely on the brush. There's really not that much uh, kick up. And I don't get any fallout. I like this color too, this lemonade color. And there we go. There we go. Let me get my this eyeliner is not set on my waterline for some reason today. So then I was like, okay, let's deepen it up, right? So I went into all fields, all the fields, I'm sorry, all the fields. And we're going to start to deepen this up a little bit. However, when I was doing this, I kind of thought these two colors here were really close together, you know what I mean, in shades to be honest. I mean, this one is a, a darker, obviously, but it just looked like it was a little bit, like, too close, you know? So what I had thought was, well, I wanted to darken this up more is my thing. That was my whole point. It was really darkening up this outer corner. And it did. It did. Just not in the way I thought it was going to. So what I had done was went back into Lemonade and just took it up into the like that first shade like usually I don't take you know this up that high it's almost like I'm replacing that shade with this shade in a sense because they were just so close together in color. And again, I feel like maybe this is my fault. You know what I mean? Like I'm thinking too much into this palette. And I'm choosing the wrong colors, you know what I mean?
take it up a little bit higher here. I think so. I think I got it even now. So we'll just blend it out a little bit. And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know what I'm doing. Any, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going back into all fields again. And again, trying to darken this up. And I think I could have stopped here. And that, that may have been my mistake right here. Like, I should have stopped and maybe did what I was thinking of doing. But you know me, I didn't stop. I just didn't. And I feel like I should have. Alright, so now that I got that laid down... I kind of like this little brush too, just in case anybody's wondering. Alright, I got all that laid down. I then, you know me, I went into the shade Cobbler and picked it up. And I laid it right on like my outer portion, outer portion of my lid. trying to get this, you know, darker. For what reason, I, I don't know. Like I said, I think I just should have stopped there and went on with the plan that I had and it probably would have been fine, you know what I mean? But I didn't. I felt the need to bring this color in for some reason. And then because I brought that color in, I thought, well, okay, I'll add it to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take Cobbler and run it right up on that lash line. And you know what I really find interesting about this palette? <clears throat> I feel like... This is a one to two color palette, period. I don't know why I feel that way. Because you know me, I love my pinks and stuff. Like, I want to build up and up and up and up, right? Going back into Lemonade. And use every pink that there is but for some reason I feel like it doesn't turn out right but if I only use one or two shades in the palette the look I feel like would come out okay and I'd be happy with it or maybe I'm expecting too much out of this palette I don't know there's just something I don't know I'm still where I'm at. Like, I don't know. Okay, so here's what I did next. I took Picnic, which is the white. Now, I will say, yes, I probably should have laid down a, um, a concealer, like, did a half-cut crease or something, but I didn't. I laid it right on top for several reasons. One, I just wanted to see how pigmented this white was. Two, I don't know how to cut crease. <laughs> like, I don't know how to do that. So, I didn't. I could have, I may have been able to lay down my, um, that Pat McGrath adhesive thing, and it may have picked it up pretty good. But, in all credit, this white's pretty white. Okay? All by itself. So, with that said, it's like, I kind of like it the way I did it like it turned out 
good, you know, for what it was and what I done to it. I'm just going to take that cobbler and build it back up because I didn't want to lose it all the way. That looks good. And then I'll be back in with picnic. A little bit right there. Just to... But look how I mean that white did pretty darn good, if you ask me. That is a pretty good white. Okay. I think I got them the same, I think. I hope. Okay, yeah. Okay. So then I took the shade, sugar coat it, and popped it right on my inner corner. like this and the reason why I decided to go this route is because in when I used it before in the video I actually put sugar coat all over the lid and put the white in my inner corner and it worked it was pretty it really was I liked it but I thought I would do the reverse because I figured it would work just as well and it does it really does so I like the way it, it, it did turn out. I, in the end, I like the way it turned out. But, by saying that, there's just something I don't know about it. And don't come for me. Please don't come for me. I love Jacqueline. I think she's a great influencer. Like, I love her to death. But something's not right. That's all I can say. It, but then I started thinking also. I think this is what it is. To be fair and honest. I have been playing with my Natasha Denona. And my Pat McGrath shadows. Right? And I think what it is. Is that. I'm just. A, I've. I've gotten used to those shadows at that price point though you know what I mean like yes they're really great shadows but they got a hefty price tag to them type of thing right where this is obviously much cheaper and affordable than that let me go ahead and curl my lashes with my ripper eyelash curler And then I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill for mascara. Almost. Wait a mess. Go figure there. Like, I just can't articulate what is going on. You know what I mean? And it's driving me crazy. And I feel like that that is the only thing I can say because it's not a bad palette. So either A, I'm picking the wrong shadows. Color story, you know, picking the wrong colors to put into an eyeshadow look, which is definitely possible. B, I'm just used to higher end eyeshadows right now. 
and I'm t like in my head I'm thinking oh that's the best so then I played this and I'm like oh no 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 you know what I mean but I will say like her these shimmer shades are not like bam in your face by no means they are very very not exciting I will say that they're not exciting they really aren't but the mattes are nice to work with again if you're a beginner for sure nice to work with so I think all in all I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line too I know I usually don't do that but like I'm in a hurry so I just went ahead and did it with the other eye so I'm gonna go with this side too I'm barely putting any on the bottom lash line, to be honest with you. So, with this palette, the way I feel is, if you're a beginner, it's good. If you like the color story, it's good. If you have a large collection with high end, this may not be the palette for you. You may not like it. Because the shadows, the matte shadows are really, really good. They really are. But the shimmer, metallic shades, whatever you want to call them, they're not the best by no means to me they they do look good on aging eyes though so let me say that too I got a problem right here they do look good on aging eyes but I like the bam in your face I love the like the pop of magic on your eye you know what I mean and that's not what this is giving me I do like the color story a lot and I do think this would be good for one to two shadows use like maybe take shortcake and lemonade and then throw sugar cookie all over the lid or maybe take picnic pie cobbler and throw fresh picked all over your lid like you definitely have a, a different ways of doing this um, but it's like a two to three shadow look is your best bet with this palette. But all in all, for the price point too, I think it is a good palette. I just don't think it's my kind of palette. But at the same time, I can see myself using the palettes for the mattes because I do like the shades of the mattes. And then popping a Super Shock color all over my lid. So I will get use out of this palette as far as it's not going to go to waste. But at the same time, I've got a lot of palettes that I can use. So I don't know. For myself, if, if, it's, if it would stay in my collection or not. But this is certainly her second palette. And her first one was a collab with her mom. So it's basically what her mom wanted, which is awesome. And this is her, you know, just stepping out. So maybe with the feedback and stuff she'll amp up the next one you know what i mean so the mats are great they're wonderful we just need that pop of magic in it you know to sprinkle all over our lids i have tinkerbell come and visit us type of thing you know what i mean all right that's all i have for you today i've wasted enough of your time i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when i do upload i upload every day but sunday and again, this, I'm just a beginner, so I don't know nothing about nothing. So don't come for me about the palette. 
um, if you love it, I, I think that's wonderful and I'm happy for you. I do not, by no means, not like the palette, but I just don't love it and that's okay because you can love what you want to love and I can love what I want to love and, the, you know, it all works in the end. But I'll see you all in my next one and until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.